behave myself before I go. See? 59.7. Guys, we got the moment of truth. <laughs> it's a waiting day. <laughs> so, before I came to America, I weighed in, I was 59.7 kilos. Now, I haven't been under the 60 kilos for quite a long time. I'll convert that to pounds for you Americans because I know you don't know what kilos is. I don't know what pounds is, so I'll, I'll put it here. 59.7, that's the lightest I've been in a long time. So I've gone over to America, I've eaten nothing but fried food, cheese, drunk lots of alcohol. <laughs> oh, I kind of was expecting that I would come home maybe five kilos heavier. I don't know if I feel five kilos heavier. There was days in America where I was really bloated, wasn't my bowels weren't working very well. I think I went six days without bowel motion at one stage. Too much information, guys. But it's weigh-in day. Let's see what the American diet has done for my body. What? 57.7? 57.7? I lost 2.2 kilos. <laughs> I feel puffy in the face, but I must be fluid. I must be holding fluid because I feel puffy in my face. I've lost 2.2 kilos, Fletch. Eating all that food. You don't want to look on naked. <laughs> I'm in the Macca's drive through back to the grind. I've just dropped my two kids at school. My, my habit is I drop the kids to school, then I come through the drive through get my long black coffee, and then I head out straight to the warehouse. About a 45 minute drive here from the warehouse. Guys, I've got 160 orders to pack today. What? Got my coffee. I will say, ah, spilled it. I will say, I've missed Australian coffee. Oh my goodness. The Americans, they don't do coffee the way the Australians do. <laughs> we win on the coffee, guys. We win. Okay, I'm going to go let Tom know. I'm back. I'm sure he's missed me. <laughs> Tom! <Huh? laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Aren't you glad to see me? Yeah, no, stop it. <laughs> Back to life, back to reality. I can't even remember the key. <laughs> Hi, Steve. I won't show you on the camera. Hi. Good time. I had the best time. <coughs> Hi, Dan. Hiya. Good. How are you? Where's your purpose? What are you doing? Oh, I was taking this one a little bit stronger. Oh. How you been? Yeah, right, so? Good. Got oh, you on the film. <laughs> You're on the film. Right. The, 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 the Americans told me they want to see more okay. of the warehouse boys. Ah, right. So, you know. The warehouse boys. <laughs> if, you, if you're keen to be on the film, they want to see more of you. Okay. Guys, this is Dan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Have you missed me? Yeah. Has Tom missed me? Yeah, how long's it been? Two three, weeks. Three? Three, three weeks. and a half. All right. So I'm, I'm ready to come back for my barbecue. Yeah. My, yeah, fun. my fire. Oh, so much fun. Yeah. So yeah. much fun. This is Dan's bird and his name is Bird. <laughs> That's it. He's just called Bird. That's his name. Hi, Bird. What are you doing? Come here. Come say hi. Hi, Bird. Hi, Bird. I'm home. You're a good girl. You are. Oi. You turned the sun on for me, Tom. It's warm here. Yip! That's not Yip, Who that's Poppy. Where, where's Yip? He's in the office. Oh. He's working on the computer. Oh, you like it, don't you? Okay. Guys. Oh, what am I coming back to? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's worse than I thought. Okay. I can hear Tech's voice already in my head. Mel, you've got a virus. 
You've got a virus in your store and it's spreading. Mill, you've got a virus. <laughs> Mill, now you've got to do the punishment. I can hear you, Tech. I can hear you. I've got 161. Actually, I just checked. I've, I, I've now got 163 orders to pick and pack today. Look at my bench space. See, Tech? I told you. My store is in shambles. Where am I meant to put 163 orders after I pick them so that I can package them up? I can't. I've got nowhere to do this. The next few few weeks, few months, <laughs> maybe a few months, you're going to see some changes happening in here from all the advice that I took while I was away in America. And I'm going to, I'm going to start working on it. All the information that Tekken Sports has given me, I'm going to make it happen in here. I'm accountable now to Tekken Sports. I can't let him down. <laughs> so I pick my orders off my phone, but 163 or 164 orders, it's a lot of orders to pick and pack. So I'm going to do about, I've got my little trolley here. So I think I'm just going to fill it up like 20 odd books and then come back, pick and pack. 20 books, pick and pack. Let's do it. N4. Forgotten where N is. <laughs> Where's my N? What? N must be around the other side. Ah, N4. G51293. I want to go quick today because otherwise I'm going to be late to the post office chasing hope. And also, I've got so much videos for you guys I want to edit. So I want to get home. Once I pick and pack, I know I've got like heaps of work in here, like heaps of punishment, as Tex said. Juror number three. I've got so much punishment to do in this shed, but I really want to get at least a video coming out soon for you and then come back here and do the punishment. H427. Well, this is a really good sale, I'll show you. Vintage Barbara Cartland. Now, this is the romance of food. Now, Barbara Cartland is actually a, uh, a, a romance novelist. So she makes a lot of the, the little small books that almost look like a Mills and Boone. She's like one of the original like um, romance novel kind of authors. Anyway, and they're quite, they're quite, um, hey baby, they're quite tame in the way that when I say romance, <laughs> they're not like, um, they're not erotic to say the least anyway. But um they're very popular that if you can find the little Barbara Cartland um, romance, <laughs> romance novels, then they actually sell really well as a, as a lot, as a bundle. So when I saw this one, the Barbara Cartland romance of food, like a cookbook with her, I was like, oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that. Anyway, I listed this book for $88 and I took an offer for $75. So pretty happy. Oh, this is not a bad one as well while I'm here. A bunch of Navy magazines, Naval. There's 12 of them in the packet. Um, these have been listed, I'm just looking here, since the 27th of July, 2022. So they've been listed for a year, but I've just sold them for $39.99. They didn't take up a huge amount of space. My nose is running. If I don't clean it off, John the reseller makes like memes about me. <laughs> I was watching one of her stories and where she talks about not having a place to heat up food eating too much Maccas. Anyways, she gets a microwave eventually. Throughout the video, as I'm watching her talk, her nose is kind of like shining at certain angles. And I pointed out to her and she goes, Ugh! This is how cold it is. I've gone from 32 to 40 degrees at Florida, back to the cold warehouse wearing like jumpers and beanies. Okay, the paleo approach. Oh, this is a good one. I should show you this as well. Um, that was an awkward book to get you. <laughs> okay, this is called the Paleo Approach paperback book. Oh, I sold this one for forty two ninety nine. It's been listed since March, so it's been in there for a few months. But um, forty two ninety nine. I would have paid no more than one or two dollars for this book. So awesome sale. Okay, this is the Medical Medium book, and it's by Anthony Williams. Now, I. I this guy has got a massive social medium following and he's basically like a spirit medium that gets told all this advice about food. He's very interesting. I've read all his books and it actually makes a lot of sense. Um, but he's all about it like a healthy way of living. There, any books that you can get in the medical medium 
series will sell super fast for you. So I listed this book while I was actually away in America and it sold within like an hour or two. It sold for $21. It's not huge, but it's, the sell-through rate on them is so fast if you price them right. So, But yeah, any of the medical medium books, guys, I would, I would buy. Okay, this is a nice Australian book. It's called Dinkum Dunnies. Now, for the Americans, I don't know that if you know that our slang word for the toilet is a dunny. <laughs> we say we're going to go to the dunny and we're going to go. <laughs> that's, our sling, that's our sling word. And literally, I've just sold a book that's about dunnies. <laughs> okay, I'll just stand up my knees. <laughs> I'm getting too old for all this squatting. Okay, this one is called Marcus Aurelius. I don't know how to say that. Marcus Aurelius Meditations. Now, I sold this book. It's a folio book, folio society books, guys. So they come in these like hard sleeves. You'll notice down the bottom of them, they have like a like the a letter F for folio society. So that's, that's what you're looking for. Now, there are some folio books that go a little bit cheaper, but for a general rule, a folio book can be worth a lot of money. If you've come across one of these books in the hard slip case, Folio Society, always look it up. Always look it up. I will. There are a few that go for the lower amounts, but some of them go for really, really high. Now, I took an offer on this one. I can't remember what I had it listed for, but I actually took an offer for $100. So I did have it listed for more, but I'm all about just selling it through, getting things moving, finding it a new home. I only just listed this before I went away and this came, for those who've been following me for a while, um, I did that big dirty container which had all the um, animal feces and <laughs> I don't know, go back to my channel and you'll see like where we did the big, I think the, the thing for thumbnail says live animals, um, but this book came from this. So this cost me nothing for free. So I did have it listed for hire. I can't remember how much, but you know, when I got an offer for a hundred dollars on a book that I got for free, thank you. Come again. So my first lot of 20 books, labels are printing. I've just realized I've left my lunch in the car. I need to go put it into Tom's fridge because I've got um, leftover steak and salad from yesterday. <laughs> Don't want my um. Don't want my lamb steak to go off, guys. <laughs> Look at this fresh, healthy salad. <sighs> this is this is my back room access, guys. I don't even have to see him. Okay, I'm just not meant to be showing down here. <laughs> Sorry, Tom, if I've just shown something I'm not supposed to. Like your, um, let's just give them all a little sneak peek here of the, just this little corner of death pile. <laughs> this is the kitchen, guys. This is, let me show you. He's, he's probably watching me on the, on the cameras. He'll be here in a minute. Okay, this is the kitchen. The boys keep it very clean coffee machine. Tom's very proud of his coffee machine. Oh, these are my Vitaweeds. I think that my Vegemite. And yeah, this is the kitchen. So pretty much treated as an employee at this warehouse. <laughs> right, it's make my own. I just make it so that I am an employee. <laughs> I just come and use all the facilities. So I just walk in. Like Tom often says, Mill, you just walk in like you own the place. Yep. Back to my labels. They all done. Woo! In Australia, we have to sign all our shipping labels. We don't really sign it, we just scribble. <laughs> So the mediums are full, the large are full, but the small are empty. Now, when we order the boxes of small in, I do them in boxes of 10 at a time. That way I get a thousand of them and I, I save quite a lot of money by doing that. Before I went to America, I, I needed to order a bulk lot, but I also wanted to be saving my money to go to America. So Tom keeps like heaps of them over at his place. So he was like, Mill, just keep a tally on the whiteboard. 
when you get to 10, just you need to replace them. So, you know, he didn't want me just going up there ordering one or two boxes at a time before I went to America because I didn't want to lay out the money for the bulk. <laughs> so I think I've got two boxes on my IOU over at Tom's and now I need to go and get another box. So I'll just go, once again, I'll just go over to his warehouse, make myself at home, jump on the ladder and take his inventory. <laughs> take his inventory. I'm just getting a box of mailers, Tom. <laughs> oh, you're so good. Have you got like a, oh, look at that. I think just one. I hope just one, but um, I do have a lot of orders. I can grab another one. Thank you so much. Guys, <laughs> this is the benefit of being in a warehouse where there's other eBay settlers. Like, we can just help each other out. I must say, Tom helps me out more than I help him out. <laughs> I, think, I think he would, I think that would be what he would say. He'd be like, um, girl, when do you help me out? <laughs> it's like, he'd be like, I'm either lending you stuff, I'm moving your stuff, I'm helping you with hauls. <laughs> What are you doing for me, girl? <laughs> I'm sure that's what he'd be saying. Okay, let's unpack. Mail is packed. Finally, I think I'm ready. I'm just looking at the time. It is 11.20. <laughs> it's 11.20. I don't even have one order packed. That's because I don't get out here till like 10 o'clock, guys, after I drop my kids at school. I'm trying to at least get half of them done. So when Tom goes to the post office, because I'm sure he'll go in the next hour or two, he can at least take like I don't know, half of them or a third of them or something, like a chunk of them anyway. So kind of feels weird. I've probably got a whole lot of new subscribers who have never watched some of my videos. Because <laughs> while I was in America, even though I didn't have any videos coming, I, the, you know, I was getting new subscribers coming because I was on other channels. So if you are here and you are new, welcome, welcome to my channel. <laughs> we, are, I have, a, I am a bookseller. If you haven't worked it out, but I've got lots of people that follow me that aren't booksellers because, like, I'm, I'm just, I think I'm just a little bit crazy. <laughs> and, um, you know, I try to have, a, I try to have a good time here on my channel, but I also try and keep it real. Um, I really like, I pride myself on trying to. Um, keep my channel as authentic as possible. I, I share the good times, I share the bad times, and um, you know, right now my shed <laughs> it's it's going through a bad time, guys. <laughs> I need to clear it up. Anyway, come on, Mill, what are you doing? Let's get packing. Okay, if you don't know, I use Ikea, Ikea bags. So I've got these big Ikea bags. I put them on the ground here or the chair, and once I've packed my orders, they go into these bags. Then they go into my car. Oh, this, I'm out of sorts. This is not how I normally pack. My orders are normally like in a much better order. My bin's not even here. My, <laughs> my bin has gone missing, guys. Okay, so this is a hundred dollar book. So I can just put it in this one padded mailer like this and it'll be secure. But when they order expensive books, these mailers cost me like 60 cents. And on a hundred dollar book, just to be um, just to be safe, just to look like I've given extra care to an expensive book, I'm giving that an extra mailer. I don't have to, but I am. Okay, that's the first lot of books done. These are the worst bin liners. I'm never buying that brand again. Okay, do I look for that lost book now or do I just move on? I think I'm going to move on. I'll come back to any that are lost, I'll come back to. Hi. Hey. So, hold on a sec. Aaron, you know those three military books that started with Thanks, mate. You know that stupid code eBay put out? Yeah, I told you it's going onto the stupid address. Oh, uh, what the f are you doing that for? It's a real pain. You can't combine orders now because it's telling you on OzPost it's a different address because they've got an, a different eBay code in there. Oh, you're joking. I've got heaps to combine. Yeah, yeah no shit. Mel, you need to do a quick video on this. <laughs> well, you're actually already on the video. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a nightmare. Why are these guys so incompetent? You, you think this is an eBay or Australia Post? 
hundred percent eBay. Oh, you think? Hundred percent. Hmm. Yeah, because anyway, it seems it seems really okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I reckon I could have a like a daily show um, about Tom's tantrums. <laughs> Guys, if you are new to my channel and you don't know who Tom is, Tom owns the – Tom. I sublet this um, warehouse from Tom. So Tom is another eBay seller, but he's at, at like a whole different scale. than what, He's got 135,000 listings, guys, big media seller, CDs, DVDs, books, just to give you a rundown. Go back and watch some of my first videos of when I moved into this warehouse and you'll learn a little bit more about Tom. But <laughs> Tom gets very, very – when you're a big seller, he gets a lot more problems than I do. So he gets very frustrated by eBay. <laughs> I reckon I should have like a little segment in all my videos going forward about Tom's tantrums. I knew Tom would be having a rant about something. That's why I actually like sat the camera there because <laughs> that's what he does. He rings me up. To have a rant about like a buyer or, or eBay or something. I didn't eat much. I didn't drink much water in America. They drink a lot of fizzy drink over there. I feel pretty puffy in my face, even though I've lost weight. <laughs> How does that even happen? Anyway. This, and get, this, this can help me gain some weight back. <laughs> These are my favourite chips here in Australia, guys. They are called Tyrell's Crispy Crisps. Now, you've got to get the ones that are crinkle cut, guys, not the, not the flat, thin ones. You've got to get these ones that are like, um, oh, I just love them. And quite often they're like doubled over like this one, so then you get double extra crunch. These have got to be the crunchiest. Mmm. Mm, so it would be like the crunchiest chips around. Oh, man. It's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> the printer always runs out on the busy days when you don't want it to. Woohoo! I feel like I'm doing this the most unproductive way possible today. The system is not flowing today. The multi-order here going out for Agatha Christie books. Now, these old vintage hardcover Agatha Christie books, they actually sell very well. Um, I normally only get maybe $20, $20 each for them, sometimes $22. So I buy these books for like a dollar or $2 sometimes. I, would, I wouldn't pay any more than $2 because I'm only getting it as a $20 or dollar sale. <laughs> Oh, I feel so out of sorts, and it's all because of this messy bench behind me. Like, normally I can stack up my orders, and they're all in, like, order, and I'm just in this flow of pick, packing my orders really fast. I'm just out of flow. Like, the bin's not in the right space. The trolley's here. I've got books all on the ground here. You can't even see them. I'm just... This is what I was complaining to to Tech. <laughs> Not complaining, but like just telling him my dramas of my store. I've got a video coming, guys, where um, I had an interview with Tech. And I, uh, when I say Tech, I'm talking about Tech and Sports, who is part of the Patreon with Daily Refinement. Tech and Sports, basically I went to him and said, I need help with my eBay store. I'm not getting all the productive things done to make actual money. So busy in here, like constantly cleaning up and sorting, and um, you know, and that's where he said, Mel, there's a virus going through your store. And he's right, that's how it does feel, it just feels like it keeps spreading and spreading and spreading. And I never seem to be on top, and I never seem to just feel like I'm working in my flow in here. Like, I'm always like, Oh, I'm stepping over things, or I'm walking, and I'm like, It's crazy, I've got heaps of room in here. I've got really good systems, like my packing station works, my benches work, but they're just constantly covered in death pile. And that's the kind of stuff that needs to stop. So you're going to see lots of changes, guys. Now, these books aren't even in order. <sighs> Normally when I pick, they're in order. They're not in order today. The whole thing's a nightmare.
I guess I'm out of sorts a little bit. Three and a half weeks since I've done a post to pick in a pack. Oh, here's Tom. He's ringing me again. Hi, Tom. Hey, Mel. What is it? What's up? Oh, are you about to go to the post? I'm going now. I got. Can you take the bags that I've done? Uh, nope, I cannot. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, I'm sorry, but my car's chock a block. They're going to so hate me. Car. The post office is going to hate me when I bring this many orders in it right before they shut. Well, you're just going to have to do two runs. So, you know, do a run now and then go back later and do another run. <sighs> well, just drop them off. That's fine. It doesn't matter if they're late. They just may not get them done today, that's all. But, you know, I do not have room in the car. So, <gasps> so what are you going to do? Are you going to do two runs or do I have to go and apologise on your behalf again? I did tell her that you would be bringing some of my parcels to make it easier for her. No, I said I'll be back in a bit. Alrighty, go. Bye. Bye. Oh, this is a really good sale. Let me show you this one, guys. Q2, it's a Bible. Okay, the Prophecy Bible, black, soft cover, gold leaf edges here. You can see the gold leaf pages. Really nice Bible. $109.99. Wow, that's a good one. This has been listed since October 22. It is a higher end book. So um, the Bibles, I'm quite happy to sit on them. I sell the Bibles for a lot of money. They're one of my best selling books. $109.99. This one is called The Keto Reset, and I sold that one for $22.99. And these ones, while well, I've got them here, this was a good set. So they're heavy. One, two, three, four. Eight books, and the author is William Stuart Long. So they're all part of the same series. I've, I took an offer on this one, but I've sold it for $75. So very heavy, that one. Okay, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Only sold for $16.99, but one of the most popular self-help books there are. So I still buy it because it's got a fast sell-through rate. S2. Hello. Hello. Get as much of your stuff packed as you can now, and I'll come and grab it, and I'll take it in for you because I've got to go back in anyway. I'll go back a little bit. Okay. Hurry up. No, of course. Bye. Listening to what people were telling me in America, they want to see more of my daily life. So my daily life includes a lot of Tom and the warehouse boys while I'm out here. And am I looking on the wrong bloody shelf or something? Like, why can't I find this book? I don't have time. If Tom's coming to get these orders, I should get this lot done. <sighs> I've got quite a few multi-orders here from being away. This one's heavy. Okay. If Tom can get all of this to the post office, at least as a start. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. It's still telling me I've got 91 orders to go. What? Oh, 91 to go. Feels like I should have about 20 to go. 91? What? Tom's here. He's talking on the phone. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Get out of it! Yes! Tom! People don't want to see my butt! <laughs> hey! Why have you got all my shit everywhere? What do you mean? This is 
Jesus Christ. Are you going to eat all my chips? <laughs> I've got steak in there. I think I'm going to have to go and have a break. I've got some steak in the fridge. I need some protein. This is ridiculous. There's all my chips gone. Lucky I've got steak. I'm going in to have steak while you're going to the post office and then I'm coming back to the... How many have I got there? 79. 79 still to go. Oh my goodness. She's waiting for some treats. I've never used the coffee machine, but I need a coffee. Mm, I love lamb steak. <laughs> now, I've just got, now I've just got a cup of grind. <laughs> what have I done? Maybe, maybe you're meant to, that's too strong. I feel like I'm not going to get all my orders done. Oh my goodness. Tom will be watching. <laughs> Tom will be watching this back going. What the hell is she doing? It's the day of the Bibles. Okay, this is a children's Bible that I've sold. Illustrated, pretty Bible. Sold this one for twenty eight ninety nine. Would have picked that up for probably a dollar. And this book here, another Bible, big, large, heavy Bible. Um. This one is sold for forty dollars. She works hard for the money. So hard, honey, honey. She works hard for the money, so you better treat her well. If I haven't drunk this whole bottle of water before I leave, there's going to be punishment. I just don't love drinking water. I just, I just don't love it. I just, if this was a nice cold can of Coke Zero, it would be so much better. What do you just got to force it down, don't you? She works hard for the money. So hard, honey, honey. She works hard for the money. If you're wondering why I'm singing that song, because I just put it on it. <laughs> I just did an Instagram story and I used that song. <laughs> so now it's in my head. I wish it was one of those people that was really good at singing. If I could have any talent, any talent, I'd be a singer. Guys, if you could have any talent, what would it be? Some people, I'd love to be able to play the guitar, but singing, oh, take singing over anything. Okay, right. Where's my other phone? Here. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on. Right, let's pack. Okay, here's a big multi one. Should I do that one? P2. Nancy Lim. Oh, it's this one here. Oh, look at all the stack of books that's now fallen. You got a virus in your store and it's spreading. You have a virus in your store and it's spreading. Those four are a multi order, so I'm going to put them there. What do we got? F3782 eBay income. <laughs> how any of how anyone of any age, location, and of background can build a highly profitable online business with eBay. Right, so you've got that, guys. Otherwise, you can just join the Daily Refinement and the Tech and Sports just Patreon group and you'll learn everything you need to know about selling on eBay. Plug, plug. See, that, that, that was a little plug, plug for my friends. Okay, this is a six order, guys. So I'll just show you what they've got. 
Because a lot of the time my, my multi-orders, they're all like the same topics, but this one's quite different. We've got Labyrinth by Kate Moss. We've got Fast Ed's Dinner in 10 Minutes. We've got The Great South Land. We've got Taking Care of Yourself and Your Family, which is like a um, mental health kind of book. eBay Income. And we've got a pack of four Cinema Cult DVDs. So that's a random mix from that person. I'll put that down there. What did that order come to? 86.85 for that one. That's pretty good. That'll just go into one large mailer. S5, the real meal. So this is a great sale. Now I got this one while I was away in America and when I got this sale I was like, cha-ching. <laughs> okay, so this book has sold for $109. But it's also sold internationally and I have $100 on all my international posts. The reason why I've got $100 on all my posts store-wide is because when I turned on international postage, I didn't have all the weights or the sizes or everything of my books. And books can be very heavy and the postage can vary a lot depending on the size and the weight. Also, this one came from that big container haul with all the, bleh, you know, the yucky haul. <laughs> With all the all the yucky stuff, but this one was in a book as you uh, in a box as you can see. It's in immaculate condition, even though it came from the dirty container hall. <sighs> you just never know what you're going to get in these container halls. One free book, two hundred and nine dollars. So this is a sixteen pack of Mills and Boone American Romance Harlequin Silhouette, whatever you want to call them. I buy these in bulk. I've got them all for like 10 cents each, and I think these ones just sold for $36.99. So they've cost me $1.60 in all these books. $36.99. I think that's what it was. $36. Okay, I've got a bundle here of Dick Francis books. Now these, there's 10 of them. $36.99. This is another bundle of Dick Francis. So I just showed you the other one where there was 10 of them. I think they sold for $36.99. This one, there's 16 of them. They've sold for $49.99. So they're just little small books. But Dick Francis, he always sells really well for me. Okay, so I've got about six bags of posts here. I'm just waiting at the post office now for a uh, a car park. This, po this post office literally has like three car places out the front of it. I'm going in the post office and then I'm absolutely going to stop at the service station and get a can of Coke. I am thirsty, guys. Hello, what's happening? Hey, I'm just at the servo. Do you want any? Do you want a drink or anything? A, a chalky milk or anything? What servo are you at? I'm at Seven Eleven. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm right, thanks. Okay, no worries. Did you get your post on? I've just dropped it. I've got an international one. I'm going to come back and and get you to print it, and then I'll leave it with you for tomorrow. Right. Okay. Okay. Just sold the Prisoner Cell Block H Complete Collection, two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. That's pretty good. You just sold what for two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars? What? The Prisoner Cell Block H Complete Prisoner. Collection. Prisoner. You're kidding me. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty good. That was the asking price. So that's awesome. Twenty two. Did they pay straight away? Yep. All good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So. Twenty two hundred. See D DVDs. How many in the pack? 174. 174 discs? Hmm. Was it sealed? <laughs> yes, oh, yes, thank like Christ it was. <laughs> I was thinking you don't have to clean all those discs, do you? No. Okay. No, no, so, right it's a good sign. Um, well I'll see you in a little bit. I'm out of here in about 20 minutes. Yep, I'm just getting the coke then. I just need, can you just, I just need you to print that international order for me. So if you, I'll just grab the coke and I'll be straight there. Yep, no worries. Bye. Notice how when Tom says, oh, I just sold a 2200 box CD, DVD, it's like nothing because he's done that so many times. Whereas me, I've never sold anything that expensive. I'd literally be wetting my pants <laughs> with excitement. For him, I had just another $2,200 box set. <laughs> Unbelievable. The sun's about to set. I don't know what the time is. It must be just, maybe it's probably just after five. I'm done. Guys, I'm going home. Thank you. See you.